Welcome to the stage recap for stage two of Cape Epic. Give you the details on this stage. First of all, uh, it says it's 94 kilometers, but it was actually 98 kilometers. So just as long in terms of distance as yesterday, but it had a whole lot more climbing. Um, before I get into the climbing, 98 kilometers. So that's roughly 61 miles again. Uh, okay, so climbing. This one had 2,050 meters or 6,726 feet of climbing. And uh, it's uh, pretty climbing, uh, not, not the most climbing, that's for sure. That one's going to be stage five, but pretty climbing. Uh, this one is known for being rocky. That was like the name of the, uh, or the word of the day for this stage <clears throat> and lots of rocks in different forms. We had sections of trail that felt like the American South Southwest, forgive me, that are really like, uh, like solid rocks and solid slabs, like in Moab or something like that. And then we just had really chunky, rough stuff. There was a big descent that was relentless. Uh, I believe it was about 20 minutes long of just like hammering nonstop on, on rough rocks. It was pretty challenging on the body. Uh, the heat was also a factor today. So it's getting close to around 90 degrees Fahrenheit. I apologize, uh, Celsius on the conversions, but around 90 degrees Fahrenheit. In fact, it's over that now. Um, so that was a bit of a factor in some ways. And it's dry. After all that rain we got, the trails are already bone dry. So uh, that was also challenging. Sand is no longer firm, it's really loose. So you have to constantly be changing lines and trying to figure out where you need to go. Uh, the, the stage starts and ends where we're, or it started in a different area and ended uh, where we are actually staying, which is really helpful because it makes the logistics a whole lot easier for our teams. So that's a very helpful thing. Uh, so without further ado, Let's hear from the teams and find out how they did on stage two. Okay, stage two in the books. Another good day, nearly the same time. I think, yeah. are we like, what, 10 minutes slower? Uh, Today was within a few minutes. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. so really close. Yeah. And this is actually the longest stage and yeah. have more climbing, super rocky. Um, how did it start? So it started out, um, we actually started at the front of the start corral this time, which made a huge difference. Yeah. Um, it still went out what I'd call wicked fast, yeah. um, but uh, we were able to, there were a couple selections within uh, of the group and we were able to stick with the bulk of bulk of people for uh, probably the first 30K. And this was all really just dirt road <laughs> rolling. Um, so that that's kind of how the first 30K went. And uh, it was still very... It was pretty hard yeah. to be, to be perfectly honest. Um, so I think that kind of influenced the rest of the day a little bit. Yeah. The numbers weren't as high as they were yesterday, but I was like, <clears throat> I just didn't recover as much, you know, it's normal day after day. Um, we'll hit our baseline at some point here soon, but it was a really hard start and I was on the ropes and both days now they've put in some pretty substantial climbs right when I'm like, I still haven't fully recovered from it yet. Um, so I guess good job course designers, but, um, so I had a, I had a, like a really tough time on one of the first climbs, uh, the big climb, but then managed to come around after a lot of like technical kind of like Moabby, uh, riding lots of big, like uh, sandstone, I think it was. And lots of chunky stuff. Like it's not a fire road race at all. Like, it's a properly technical mountain bike race. Um, yeah, and then we had just a huge climb at the end, uh, which uh, was tricky mentally, but we got through it just because we thought it finished about nine times, but it didn't. So, uh, and then the descent was relentless, bumpy, and rocky. Um, yeah. Yeah, the descent was kind of <laughs> next next level. It was probably a little bit, a um, little bit over my normal comfort comfort mm -hmm. level. Um, so I was going pretty well, and unfortunately, um, this big old boulder jumped out in front of me. <laughs> it uh, moved. It moved, yeah. That's <laughs> exactly what it was. Um, tried to go over it. I was unsuccessful, and instead I went over it and, and over my bike. bike. <laughs> uh, so I crashed it at one point. Uh, fortunately, we were near the, near the bottom. Um, I... I seem, I feel okay at this point. Um, I hit kind of both of my knees and my wrist. Um, so those are a bit sore, but nothing too serious. Um, I was just more 
honestly annoyed than than anything. Um, yeah. It wasn't the the best way to end the stage, but uh, but all is well. Yeah, and after that, we we found good legs and the like flats coming back. So uh, all all's well there. It's funny how a shot of adrenaline from crashing will <laughs> make it easier to pedal hard. Yeah, your descending though was so good. Um, it was awesome to to watch. I was behind Brandon for a lot of that descent, and I was like, he's picking perfect lines. He's like carrying. It was cool. So uh, yeah, I, I really not too like it kind of different than yesterday, but in the end, kind of similar in a lot of ways. Body's fatigued feeling, but it's not like sore, I can't walk sort of feeling yet. Um, yesterday, I didn't mention this, but my cleat came loose. And when it came loose, it was like really hard to clip in. Then also I was pedaling, obviously, like in a really weird position. And I kind of tweaked my knee a little bit, but I ended up readjusting the cleat and got everything dialed in and today zero pain. So honestly, it's all systems go for tomorrow, which is supposed to be nearly 100 degrees Fahrenheit. So it was like 38 degrees C. So that's a big change from the first day that we had, which was rainy and cold. Yeah. And then I think the next day it goes back to rainy and cold. We're getting everything. Make it epic. Today was a green stage. So already, really solid stage. Uh, it almost ended up being 100 Ks, 99 Ks. Took us four and a half hours, 432, I think. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Around there. Um, yeah, I was feeling a lot better today. Definitely not 100% yet, but a lot better than yesterday. I didn't feel like I was fighting my bike. And everything's keep food in that I eat. So that helps a lot just to you know, actually start with the full tank because otherwise it just kind of goes downhill very quickly. Um, yeah, I think... Today, we rode together a little bit better as a team, kind of communicated a bit more. There's two, we had two really long, well, long climbs that um, Rob was a lot better than me at, but we managed to pace those pretty well, I would say, and the rest in between as well. We stayed out of trouble, a lot of rocks today. Um, so, yeah, I'm glad we didn't get any punctures or any issues. Pretty much what Rousseau just said. Um, I was particularly stoked that he was feeling better because it meant we could ride better together. Um, he says he's not still not 100%, but at least we could at least get closer to pushing harder. Um, yeah, we've definitely paced way better. Um, so it was quite nice to, to find a rhythm. Uh, we know it feels like we've been racing for a long time, but it's only day three, stage two. And it's, even though today was the queen stage, it doesn't mean that the rest of the stages are easy, um, which I like to tell myself, but I know it's not going to be easy. Tomorrow is pretty much the same as today. Um, I struggled quite a bit today with the rocks because there were rocks everywhere. Um, and yeah, near the end, I had quite a bit of back pain, which was quite an issue. So yeah, in the last, I think we had like a pretty gnarly descent of like seven Ks of I think it was no, it wasn't that long. Of just it took like twenty minutes. So many rocks, long. like super rough, and my back was quite fatigued, and there was no respite, so I couldn't really recover at all. Um, so he dropped me pretty solidly, uh, but we kept it less than two minutes, so we didn't get a penalty. Teamwork. Um, yeah. So all in all, I was pretty stoked with how today turned out. I mean, it's still a super long race going forward. Uh, a lot of days left, but if we keep going like we're going, I think we're going to have an epic race. Um, a takeaway from today and something that was really awesome was the fact that we finished the race where we currently stay. So it was a bit more peace of mind instead of traveling back and forth. We, we literally ended where we were sleeping. So that was perfect. Yeah. Otherwise I went for a massage to help me sort out my back a bit better tomorrow. I've got a feeling tomorrow's again, full of rocks. So it's just going to be maintaining my back, which hopefully goes well. And, um, yeah, we're just going to take it again day by day, keep the teamwork up, keep the communication up and just keep it consistent because today was great. And I think when we both are feeling great, we can really, I wouldn't say go for a stage one. That's not, a, not in the question, <laughs> but, uh, uh definitely uh, keep a smash. So step in the right direction. So I would like to see more from myself. I don't know if it's going to happen in this race, but I know it is there. It's just a question of when, and I think, uh, also, besides tomorrow and then day five, which tomorrow still has quite a bit of climbing and a few long climbs, and then Friday will be a day of survival for me. 
um, 3,000 meters and you know, 85 Ks, so it's either up, either up or down. Um, so I'm not worried about that, but I just know like I'm going to need to get my, my pacing right. I'm hoping to be 100% by then because I'll need all 100%. <laughs> um but yeah the other stages i think suit me well so i'm really looking forward to what's to come and i think it's a step in the right direction yeah yeah sweet cool Till tomorrow cheers oh my goodness hello everybody i started stage two most of you know i am solo so um yeah gosh i am really tired and that was really hard um, sadly, because I am solo and I don't have a partner, they start me at the very end. So the pro men and women go at 7, 7.03, and then age groupers begin at 7.15, and there's waves every five minutes, and the last one is at 8, which is what I am in. Um, my group, they're, they're just there to have a good time. Um, you know, I think they're just there for the experience and hoping to finish, and um, we were all laughing at the beginning, so... That was really nice. Um, hopefully, the one advantage of it is that tomorrow, since our race village is just where we are in the accommodations, is that I will be able to get another 45 minutes of sleep. So that's going to be a little bit nice. Um, I haven't been getting to bed too early. But anyways, I started, went by myself basically in the first like 30 seconds. I was already off the front of my group. And yep, I just kind of got as there as possible and worked on trying to catch, you know, all the groups that I could. I was hoping that I would come up on a group that I could kind of draft off of. But honestly, there is just because all the fast people were at the very beginning, it was like I would just catch and pass, you know, and um, I had a lot of good laughs out there. I think a lot of people laughed that I was by myself when I would say like Lone Rider coming through and they would kind of chuckle, especially when it was like the lead pack, the leader of the, you know, the pack like that was leading the the group along. Um, but yeah, I had a good day. The climbs were really hard. Um, I think what made it a little bit harder for me was that I was always having to take the really bad line because that was the only way I could get around people. Um, and then, yeah, I just made a lot of friends out there. You know, every year and time I would pull up onto anybody, I would just, you know, read their name tags, say, hi, how are you doing? Just, you know, I'm solo. So just whenever I can pass, that would be awesome. Um, one of the funny things about this race is that whenever you're riding on the distance, you see climbs and they're like super steep. You're like, oh, that's going to hurt. And you get there and there's always an error and you go left or you go right and you never do them. And today as we're approaching the final climb, you know, we're maybe like 6K to go, maybe even less. There's the hill that's like this. And I was like, oh boy, that looks really scary. But I bet you we're going to go on the lower section. Like they're not going to send us up that. And then like a few minutes later, I start seeing little tiny dots moving up. And I was like, oh no, they're going to send us up that. So uh, that last climb was really, really, really hard. And um, yeah, you know, it was always super good to cheer for everybody that um, I was able to kind of catch. I think everybody was, I impressed a few dudes out there. Um, one of them called me his future missus, whatever his last name was, which gave me a good laugh. Um, but yeah, it was a good time and uh, looking forward to the next stages and seeing what I'm able to do and how I'm able to perform on time. Um, now that a lot of the people will know that I am kind of coming along and uh, maybe we're going to move on a little bit quicker to help me set a fast time. So now we're going to go have lunch and get massaged and then recovery time. See you guys tomorrow.